Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, June 17th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I stop, drop, and understand. Play on, <laughs> stop, drop, and roll. Nobody's acting, act, uh, asking you to actually drop or, well, kind of, or, <laughs> or roll. The drop is drop in. So we are heading into some super reactive astro. <laughs> super, super hyper radioactive reactive, uh, radioactive reactive astro. That's weird to say. Um, we are a week out from Venus going direct, which is actually a good thing. Uh, we have Mercury going retrograde late in the evening on Wednesday. So I'm gonna cover that in tomorrow's scope, but awareness of that, very important. Um, we are going to have Neptune going retrograde. We are going to have the sun moving into Cancer. We are gonna have our second eclipse in the sign of Cancer. We're in the dark of the moon. Oh, and we're gonna have Mars moving out of Pisces, <laughs> the late degrees of Pisces, and into Aries for about six months. So, holy, oh my goodness, <laughs> wow. These energies together are super reactive. And so we really want to, again, get those lessons of Gemini grounded in us. And the Gemini lesson, the lesson of listening and understanding. Now that's going to be really pertinent too for this Mercury retrograde because so much misunderstanding happens during Mercury retrogrades. And so, especially in Cancer, Cancer energy is ready, ready to like emotionally react. And so if we can stop, drop in, and understand, then we're not going to be in that super emotionally reactive place immediately. We may still go there, and there's other things to cover in regards to that, but at least to drop in and like listen and absorb rather than like, who wants to fight? <laughs> because this energy is coming in as who wants to fight, like really, really, really intense. Um, what I was going to say beyond the dropping in, do be aware. Now this is one of the lessons of Gemini. Gemini energy, the mind, you have a brilliant creative mind. It can create a story out of anything. If you see a little anthill on the sidewalk, a whole story can come from the tiny little anthill on the sidewalk. So imagine what it can do with bigger things. Holy cow, we are amazing creative beings. Do be aware of this and do be aware of what the stories are that you're telling and that you don't have to believe the stories, you don't have to believe everything that you think. It's really good to take a step back and again, drop in, listen to your intuition and not just the stories. Um, this is also gonna be important because the mental energy before, before, before we have this eclipse, it is, it is peaking. We have the sun drawing very close to the north node in Gemini. So the north node in Gemini is reminding us, listen, stay open. You don't have to know everything. So it's a positive thing. And yet the stories, the mental energy may be rampant. We also have the moon. Moon, let's see, it's going to be moving in on Thursday. Moon moving in on Thursday to Gemini. So some really strong Gemini energy to finish out these lessons. So we really... We've got to wrangle our monkeys and give them some parameters or else they're going to be light and fires all over the place. So awareness of that. Like I said, we're heading into this Mercury retrograde. You're probably already feeling it. Technology is, at least for me, has been going haywire. Um, my computer, like it's doing weird things as I'm recording. I'm like, please stay alive. I love you. <laughs> um, but do be aware of this crazy technology. Um, at this time, uh, miscommunications, misconnections as well. Um, you know, it's interesting because I was trying to call Joe the other day and it's like, nope, you can't call him. You know, whatever the little Verizon lady has to say, nope, you can't contact this person or whatever. I'm like, 
uh, hello, what, why not? And then it rang through the next time, like a lot of weirdness. So just keep that in mind. Also, emotional roller coasters, Mercury retrograde in Cancer, old stuff. Cancer holds on to everything. Old stuff coming up to be processed, felt. So you may be laughing and then crying the next minute and that is okay. Um, today, <laughs> just today, oh, I really do want to address that Venus retrograde. Again, Venus retrograde for one more week as well. Again, digging in to that yin past to bring some of those energies up from where that they were like stashed away. So listen, I've been having really interesting dreams. Listen to your dreams. Listen to the wisdom coming up and ground in for your nervous system. Speaking of grounding in, moon in Taurus. Moon in Taurus is helping us ground in. It's helping remind us what we value, what is important. Look for the beauty, look for the gifts. Uh, even take some time for pleasurable energies, whatever that is for you. Um, in these crazy hectic times, pleasure can bring beautiful comfort, not overindulging in it, just a nice balanced amount. So the moon in Taurus is connecting with both Mercury and Neptune. So Mercury, ooh, interesting. <laughs> Mercury in uh, Cancer, Neptune in Pisces. So we've got this muddy energy. And remember, anytime I say Taurus and Pisces connects, we can feel that lazy cat energy. So Again, awareness of that. You may feel, find yourself feeling like slow, drowned down, not downtrodden, but like energetically, like I don't want to move. I want to roll on the floor. <laughs> so maybe do that. That may be part of that grounding, pulling down energy. It's also feeling like the energy being pulled down in order to process emotionally. Now, a side note, if you are a sensitive, please do regular clearing because there is a lot of heaviness coming up and some people are more apt to sponge sponge in um, what's going on. So if you are one of those, please, please clear yourself regularly because you'll be like, oh, I feel a little lighter. I feel a little better. Oh, that's the other thing I was going to say. Hold on. I got to, I got to move my camera because I'm looking at it. Aha. Yes. We also have Chiron and Lilith coming back together because why not dig in into some more deep work so Chiron the wounded healer Lilith the soul of the yin who goes her own way who honors um, honors her own integrity honors her own life force soul force purpose energy and follows that course so we have healing around that healing around the I am of that and again that's for Everybody, everybody has Lilith in their chart. Everybody has yin in themselves. And so this deep healing of that part, that integrity, that is wild and primal at the core, and also compassionate and nurturing and loving at the same time. How do we find a balance of that? Again, in this, in this crazy climate, <laughs> the computer agrees. So just be aware we have another round of that going on, and it can bring... It can bring a sort of fierceness up. So, especially if you feel like you're dealing with things out of integrity, yeah, the fierceness may fly a little bit. Okay, so stop, drop, and listen. Stop, drop, and understand. Tune in to what's going on. Tune in with your higher self and not just the wounds or the reactive uh, part of yourself. Because, oh my. There is some stuff withheld that's coming up right now. And Spirit's like, you got to do this. You're ready. It's ripe. It is time. But it's long been held back. And letting go of it is not easy. So we do want to do that stop, drop, and listen. Stop, drop, and understand energy. I also have the compromise card, which is the don't compromise card for me. Um, don't compromise. But this to me like feels like that Lilith energy, like, be aware of that sacred rage. Be aware of that integrity energy and how it's calling for you to stand up and go beyond the silence um, 
in these energies because I feel like there's a lot of that and that's a necessary part of the process. Again, going back to yesterday's scope, you are the student but also the teacher. So keep that in the back of your mind. So that is it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you do have the power. Namaste.